Ajay Kumar represents the Congress on the broadcast. And Ajay Kumar, I want to begin by asking you, sir. You heard how warmly President Putin spoke of this privileged strategic partnership that India has with Russia, the two countries have shared together, the meetings that India has had with Turkey, Iran and Uzbekistan. Why then, sir, is the silence on Chinese salami slicing, in your view, akin to surrender? Look, uh, Gaurav, uh, uh, it's important uh, to bring a couple of things what uh, Gaurav Gogoi said. And I think the TV also is as much responsible. If you remember, I think the G20 summit when the Prime Minister was kept in the in a privileged position, the photographs, the Bhartiya Janta Party, and even the TV anchors went crazy, right? Uh, that, you know, it is India's importance, etc., etc. I think it was one of your shows also. So my question to you is very simple. Is half the time the TV channels keep getting excited on it. So now, sir. obviously, when you keep saying, one second, let me complete. When you put, you said the Prime Minister was given a privileged position in G20 photo, suddenly you see very agitated, then you see that the people are going to get agitated if you see him at the corner. All right, now you might give plenty of explanations to it. I honestly don't think it's much of an issue. Whatever the explanation the MEA gives is fine. But stepping back, the three main issues were, I think the Prime Minister, he felt, okay, the Prime Minister should have touched on terror. And terror across, because there are different uh, people across. Trade, obviously, there was some amount of discussion on trade. And then Afghanistan was totally sidelined. Now, you know the issue with SCO and the Afghanistan Troika, where you had uh, the Russians, the Pakistanis, and the Chinese. They kept India totally out of it. Now, whether it's an informal discussion or not, the India's interest is definitely tied, tied up with Afghanistan situation. Whether the SCO is, is subtly trying to undermine us is, is a different issue. Uh, we definitely expected the Prime Minister to raise this issue and also the opportunity. Now, whether you ignore the Chinese or not they ignore the Chinese, the fact is, uh, and I'll finish off with 30 seconds, the fact is there has been issues at the, at the Chinese border. And the fact is that we need to have a political discussion on why the Chinese continues to obfuscate, uh, uh, continue with a misadventure. Now, there's no political discussion at all, whatever okay. we might say that the FM is discussing. So those are issues which are rightfully any opposition party. Sure. So, so Shahzad, Shahzad Poonawala has his hand up to respond, but... And my iPad. Okay. My, my only point is, uh, akin to surrender is a very strong word that, uh, you know, the deputy leader of the Congress used, uh, you know, uh, in, in his uh, social media platform. You are, you've raised a number of other points, but nowhere close to akin to surrender. Shehzad Poonawala, respond. Why was Prime Minister standing in a corner? The Congress says India has been sidelined. It's actually Congress's vision and their own political trajectory that has been sidelined because uh, at that point of time, Geeta Mohan, the reporter from there, explained how the uh, protocol works in such events. The host country stands in the middle, flanked by the founder countries and the new countries at the sides. But immediately after that particular, and this is for Gaurav Gogoi and Ajay Kumar, here is the Prime Minister front and center, as always is India. And but let me also show him one more picture as to why anchors were so excited about uh, the G20, because here is a picture of Prime Minister Manmohan Singh at G20. You can see him, second row, all nondescript, perhaps facing some domestic issues at home. And here is, the, uh, here is the Prime Minister leading the quad, Prime Minister Narendra Modi leading the quad, front ahead leading Joe Biden and other countries including the Japanese. So, you know, the point is, now let me come to a larger point. Uh, Mr. Ajay, I did not interrupt you. Please have the patience. Let me tell you what is surrender because Gaurav Gogoi will obviously not come for a debate. When we give up Aksai Chin, 37,000 square kilometers, when you allow occupation of Tia Pangnak and the Chabji Ghati, when you allow Zorawar Fort to be destroyed and you allow a PLA observing point to come up in 2012, when you allow the giving away of Doom Cheli, when you allow 600 incursions between 2010 to 13, and at the time, same time you allow yourself to go into RCEP and allow the trade deficit to go from 1 billion dollars to 36 billion dollars almost 33 times okay. at a time when you're taking money from China into the RGF well that is complete surrender what, of our economic what, and okay. territorial Ajay Kumar, what what you said that, uh, uh, yes. Gaurav just uh, Gaurav, 10 total, seconds more Gaurav just 10 total. seconds more look at what we've achieved Gaurav just 10 seconds more uh, Ajay okay. Kumar can I have 10 seconds please no, no, but please uh, can I please have 10 seconds you're not the anchor you're not the anchor okay Gaurav let me go I will come back to you okay Ajay 
Kumar, I will come back to you. Sir, sir, when you spoke, when you spoke, you know, Shahzad did not interrupt. My request is, let him complete his point. I will come back to you before I bring in. While we are discussing pictures, Gaurav, can I please make my point? Why do we need to be so angsty? So, sir, can I please come? Kindly, sir, my request is kindly give, kindly give Shahzad Poonawala. His 10 yeah, seconds, cool. I will come back to you before I go to our Thank experts. You. Thank you. Okay, please, please finish. But Mr. While, while you are at it and you are talking about complete surrender, uh, Mr. Ajay Kumar, can you explain it's this Dr. particular... Ajay Kumar, my Mr. friend, Mr. Doctor. Kumar, can you please stop friend, interrupting Jinnabari and you ha can you please have the decency okay, to hear one by our one. Gentlemen, gentlemen. This is a picture of Rahul Gandhi surrendering our rights by signing an MOU no. with the Chinese. Can you please tell us whether you call this surrender or not? And here's a picture of Rahul Gandhi eating Chinese food with a Chinese ambassador at the time when the Doklam crisis was taking place. Can okay. you explain these pictures, please?